It's the coffee pot challenge where I pick out three items from the tin and see what I'm making today. Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. I'm having a look today at three items from the coffee pot challenge to make something and we will see what I have got. I'm digging right to the bottom. Oh, I saw that one. Scraps, that one says. So we've got scraps, gesso, Oh, and a wild card. A wild card, scraps and gesso. Wow, okay, I need to think on that. Okay, so for the challenge this week for the coffee pot, we've got scraps, we've got white gesso, and we have got a wild card. So the wild card is going to be rubber stamps. I've been going through my rubber stamps. And so for this, you're going to want some rubber stamps or silicon stamps, a stamping block if you need that or rubber stamp like that if you've got such a thing. You're going to need a pair of scissors, um, permanent ink in a black or a brown or a colour that you're happy with, scrap paper, so this was just a coffee dyed and it's been on a rusty pan so it's got a funny colour, I didn't use it in the journal. Uh, you're going to want a paintbrush or a q-tip something that you can dip into white paint um, the prompt says gesso but it could be white acrylic paint or watercolor any color any old tipex any uh, you know correcting fluid um, white gel pen anything that makes a white mark i think that's everything so what we need to do is i'm using my flowers i'm going to take um, a flower stamp and my black ink and I'm just going to put down an image over here only because there's some nice splats in the background there and although it looks a bit odd on this page when I've got a stamp on it that looks quite nice as a background if you can see that okay uh, so we'll just do so if, we, if, if you're mass making you could do a whole page or a whole row let's do one more do one more down here so I've got that one um, and then I'll maybe go for this one I could use brown as well, that would be nice. I've got a brown colour here. We've been using and looking at uh, plant-based uh, images and things for the latest journal. So if you've been following along with the French Linen Botanical Journal, you will know that I am using the flower images and if you want to follow along, this is a very good idea and these images will go into the ephemera holder that we've been making together. This is the ephemera holder that we've made, so it's really thin and it can slot into the cover of a journal if you want it to. Folds out and if you'd like to know how to make that then the link to that is at the end of this video. Um, working on the French Linen Botanical Journal at the moment, so if you'd like to see how this soft cover journal was made then you can have a look in the playlist and um, we've had some interesting ideas of hinging pages together and this was just one of the spare pages so now I am just stamping on these images and putting them down here I'm going to just try one in the brown also lovely okay and then I've got this one maybe this one will be nice to have in a yellow that was fossilized amber oh look I do I like this one it's berries so that's nice that just looks like some nice yellow berries that we might find on the plant Okay, so for this idea, you can see that you could make sheets and sheets of all the different uh, flowers and uh, 
different elements it doesn't have to be flowers it could be anything couldn't it really but for the challenge we're using gesso so um that's this i've just squirted some on a little piece of paper here because i couldn't find my palette but i could put it on there but i don't want to risk gunging up anything and i can throw that away at the end you take your paintbrush this is how i'm tackling this challenge take your paintbrush and then you just go about adding the gesso to the flower petals and the buds and just highlighting those areas. I think that's a leaf. So you're creating white flowers. And you can do them for all of them. And take your time and just relax into the craft that is painting flowers with the guide of the nice stamp that you may have got there we go come back and add a bit more if you think it wants a second layer just to brighten it up anywhere and the same again on every... I'm only using white because that's what the challenge dictated. But it could be other colours as well. So you could use um, blues and yellows. And if you're doing a vintage theme it's quite nice to stick to the black and white. And the sepia tones. But you would probably might want some green if you want to, once you've done the berries and you think actually that would have looked nice to just put a little bit of green on the leaves then you could use acrylic paint again for that anyway there we go so that's what they're looking like and the berries there so we're just adding the paint on can't see what I'm doing <laughs> I'll just aim it at the berry and hope for the best. So once you've got a sheet of those, I like this one up here actually. Let's just quickly get this one done. So I think these are going to look really nice on tags, tickets and extra embellished bits. Just sort of the little something that would look quite nice at the end. It could even be a washi, like a, instead of a washi tape sticker or one of these expensive Tim Holtz things. You can't always afford that. So particularly if you love to craft and mass make and make a lot of things for journals and gifts and oh, just uh, collage then you might find that this sort of thing is just what you need and it will tie in something to a theme. If you've got loads of stamps, rubber stamps, and you, you've you previously been making cards and you're sort of now branching out into other, other um, territory, new territory of the journaling or, or just want something else to you make use of for things you've already got. If you've got, lo I've got loads of these. Uh, silicon stamps because I quite like to create a theme or a scene if um, I want to do Christmas then you know I want I like my stamps to set the scene and so we know what we're talking about so this would be perfect if you've got a snowman or Santa's beard or the, the bobble on his hat or something you could just add the white gesso to accent the black and white image that could be quite fun on a brightly coloured um, background and um yeah it just gives you gives you something else to play with with your stamps all right i haven't done that one but i just wanted to give you an idea of what i'm up to then you need your scissors where have they gone i don't know we'll go with these scissors and you're fussy cutting them out so as long as that's something that you're comfortable doing you don't need to you could rip them out tear them very carefully or you can fussy cut them with a nice clean edge so the nice thing about gesso is it dries quickly so 
who haven't got to hang about. I've just seen a bud there that I didn't do. Missed that one and that one. Okay, right, and then to make that make sense, you would probably want to put it on something. So let me show you how that could look as an idea. Hopefully it's curled up at the moment, but if you imagine that's stuck down, that could be an extra embellishment to something. And it could, if you go through your journaling cards, it could now be an extra thing that just makes makes the journaling card pop where you didn't have this as an option before, so you haven't used it. We haven't got stickers or anything. Um, just the fact that you've added some texture by cutting out the shape of the stamp, which is not a new idea, but to add the white gesso pop of colour is very... Very, uh, it's a nice reminder of something to do because we we stamp directly onto the sheet, but we don't sort of think, oh, hang on, that might look nice on that scruffy bit of coffee paper that I just can't put in the journal because it's too grungy. Maybe this is how you use up those papers that you're not happy with. They've got a really funny stain on them where you've coffee dyed it, it all worked up, or maybe they get a rip in it and you don't want to put that in your journal then use that because you've still got a nice colour of the paper but um, you're not wasting them and so they can then become collage pieces and extra embellishment. Another idea is to use the stamp on a piece of tracing paper. So I've got a scrap here I'm just going to put these down and see if I can angle that in so it fits. Put that down. Oop, look like that. Peel it off. There we go. I don't know whether, I mean that's obviously very nice, we know about stamping, but uh, whether the paint will work, I'll, I'll have to come back with that and let that dry. It just sort of needs to dry a little bit, doesn't it? So here we go. And uh, I think that's a really lovely idea. And um, I've got that one there now. So I've been been putting a few in there and um, yeah I just I think they're great I think they're all going to look really lovely uh, they're going to go into my ephemera holder and the other idea just very uh, quickly because I know we've been using the white paint and that is the challenge but what if because they're going to be nice for that but what if we use a metallic? What if we were to do the flowers in a gold? So I've got a gold paste here. Um, how about if I've got this, what, what would look nice? Or maybe just these berries up here. Um, and if you've got one of the, the gold pain, paint pens, a little uh, marker pen in a gold paint, that would probably be quicker. But seeing as I'm here with a paintbrush and I've got the product in front of me, don't go out buying special things if you've already got uh, gold pens that you use at Christmas time. And, um, you know, that could, that could just emphasise that. But I think the nicest bit about it is that you're putting it on a scrap of scruffy paper that you didn't otherwise want. And then that just takes that um, idea... Of stamping and then and then highlighting and then fussy cutting and all of a sudden you've got something really quite special that you can add to your ephemera holder and ultimately use for different applications throughout the year so I think that could look really classy at Christmas to have something like that even if it has started its life as uh, something you were going to throw in the bin <laughs> There's all you need is a tiny scrap. Um, right, so then maybe on top of one of these white ones, we could just accent with a bit of gold as well. And um, see what that gives us. 
Oh, just it's another way to make your stamps work for you, isn't it? Using the supplies that you've got, just some ideas that you may have some rubber stamps and some white paint, and I'm certainly going to have some scraps, and if not, just dye them with some coffee. And I had some paint splatters, so that's what that was ink spray. And all of a sudden, we've got something really special now that will look look lovely in a journal. We'll just have a quick look what that might look like. And then we can add these as we go. Let's find a page. Here we go. So I don't like that there, but I might be quite happy to have a collection of these now collaging and coming up the side of the paper. Something like that, all stuck down would look great, or it could be going it could be on the pocket, and then that's uh, that's what we embellish with. But yeah, it's just another little idea, a little something idea. Is we've got we've got these, so now we've got uh, we so we've made clusters, we've made fabric stamps, and now we've made these as well. I just think that's really great, and I did have another one here. Well, I'll show. Oh, here we go. So this is how to make your stamps go a little bit further where you can stamp on fabric and you can stamp on your scrap coffee paper and then embellish them with the gold or the white and just see what that does for you and how fun has that been. Okay guys, I hope you found fun and value here. Please do like and subscribe. If you'd like to see any of the ideas here, everything is in the French Linen Botanical Journal playlist and that is all linked to what we're doing here with the idea of the flowers and the flower collecting and more stories to come over the weekend regarding all of that and I hope that this has given you something to sit and quietly do fussy cut them out add them to the ephemera holder which we can now pull from and have instead of some of these stickers that uh, that um, we can't get hold of. Don't need them, do we? Because we've already made our own little bits and bobs, so that's great. Just another idea, a little bit of fun, so I hope you found that that was useful today. All right, thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching, and above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye-bye now.